everyone! I just finished a Court of Thorns and Roses last night and now I am on to a Court of Mist and Fury. I thought I would vlog, I guess would be the word, my reading experience of reading a Court of Mist and Fury, just like showing you my reactions and everything as they're happening. So obviously this video is going to be filled with spoilers. Right now I'm on page 13 and I'm really liking it so far. Hamlin is being such a douche and it's only 13 pages in. Like, there's so many things I could list. Like, he's ignoring Freya when she's throwing up and having her problems at night because you know, you know that dickwad is awake and just ignoring her. He's basically only gave her dresses to wear even though he knows she hates dresses. He proposed to her a month after everything that happened with Amarintha and I'm like, don't you think she needs like a little time to heal and just be with you and not not have the pressure of planning a wedding and all that and he's also not letting her leave. He were just threw a shoe at Rice in. That was amazing and his reaction was hysterical because I can just picture like all their fights as like a married couple going that way. So Tamlin just locked Freya up in the house and she freaked the F out understandably and I have to say I really really like that they're showing Tamlin kind of as an abuser and not only as an abuser but as like kind of the not the one who like punches you in the face and tells you you're ugly and makes you feel like crap but the one who tells you you're pretty and makes you feel special but he ignores when you're throwing your guts up and you're crying and you're begging and you're screaming and you're shouting and you're falling apart and he locks you up so I really like that they're kind of showing the difference in Tamlin and how he's putting his needs above Feyre's Love the differences we're seeing between Reese and Tamlin. It blows my mind how Tamlin's just like ignoring everything that's happening with her, ignoring her falling apart, and she has that thought about how maybe it'd be a mercy just for her to die, and Reese is like, don't ever think that, not for one damned moment. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Reese is basically like, you deserve to live. And I think she really needs to be told that at this point because she doesn't think she does. She thinks she's because she slaughtered those innocents. She doesn't deserve happiness. You all literally have no idea how affected I am by Reese sleeping in the cot at Favorite's family's house. Like, it's just, he's so, like, large and in charge and powerful and he's sleeping on this little tiny cot and he could probably break it with just, like, one smirk if he really wanted to. And now I'm, like, wondering, how does he sleep? Does he sleep on his side, his back, his stomach? Does he do the curl up? Or does he do that, like, weird thing that boys do in movies where they're just like, oh, I'm just smelling my armpits while I go to bed. No big deal. And Reese is proving my love for him and that, like, he's just reminding Feyre of how strong she is. Like, I like how he's not, like, Tamlin, who was, like, yeah, I'll protect you, whatever, just sit there. But he had this awesome line where he says, you forgot the strength and that you can burn and become darkness and grow claws. You forgot, you stopped fighting. And that line really stuck with me and Feyre because she repeats it a lot, like, you stopped fighting. And I think Feyre has always been a fighter, so for Reese to be like, you stop fighting, why would you stop fighting? That's like, all all you do is fight. I think that's like, she's, she's starting to get back to who she was and I love that Reese is not trying to change her, but remind her that, like, hey, you're not this weak girl Tamlin tried to make you. You're not this princess that needs to be dressed up and hidden in the castle and protected. You fight. Stop letting him make you into this damsel in distress and show me the power that you have. And I just love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we just had a line that I absolutely love, so I need to share it with you. And it's after Reese came to tell her what they had done with the a tour, whatever that thing is, and she says, we learn, and he said, it's done, we learn what we needed to, and then she said, I brace myself to be shut out, to be told it's taken care of, but Reese added, it's up to you, Feyre, to decide how much of our methods you want to know about, what you can handle, what we did to that tour wasn't pretty. He is the complete opposite of Tamlin, and I love that, like, rather than, like, being, like, the complete antithesis of Tamlin, where he's like, we're gonna tell you exactly what we did, he always gives her choice, like, I just love the autonomy he grants Feyre, and, like, you can know as little as much you can do as little as much as you feel comfortable with and like yes he pushes her when he knows she's holding back because she's going to that damsel in distress thing like I said but I just love that he always gives her choice like it's so amazing that he's the complete opposite of Tamlin I love it
That is exactly what I have been saying since I read the book and to have Feyre finally realize what's happening I am so freaking excited. This whole passage is amazing. She's just breaking down and finally getting that validation she needs that Tam wouldn't denied her by saying that she killed those fairies and she should have died instead and now Reese and Cassian and is real I still don't know how to pronounce his name they're all like kind of comforting her and just being like yeah we know what happened they're not trying to coddle her or make her feel bad or be like we understand they're just letting her get her feelings out and it's so so important and I'm in love with all of them even more now. That moment when Reese sums up unhealthy love in three sentences the issue isn't whether he loved you it's how much too much love can be a poison. He just, Reese just flicked her nose. I'm, I'm just sitting here in utter shock at the fact that he flicked her nose. But this man is just beautiful, B beautiful. I love how Tamlin's like, there's no such thing as a high lady. And when Feyre tells Reese that, he's like, uh, what do you mean there's no such thing as a high lady? Of course there effing is. In fact, I love how every time Feyre brings up some bullshit Tamlin fed her, everyone's like, it's like if someone came up to you and was like, did you know bread can't be toasted? And you're just like, uh, yes, it can. They're dancing together. This is the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh. I feel like every single time this book goes on, I find a new favorite part. But oh my gosh, Feyre confronting Lucian. You gave up on me. I breathed. You gave up on me. You were my friend and you picked him, picked obeying him, even when you saw what his orders and his rules did to me. Even when you saw me wasting away day by day. You saw what was happening to me, but you were too afraid of him to truly do anything about it. Boom! She is totally correct. She just nailed it on the freaking head. Tamlin has no friends because everyone is just scared of him and what he's going to do. Lucian isn't his friend. We thought he was, but he's not because that's not an equal relationship when you're scared of the person. Feyre and Reese are mates, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, Feyre and Reese are mates. Not Tamlin the tool so he can go take himself and his stupid smile and his stupid everything and go screw himself because it is Feyre and Reese time. So I only have about less than a hundred pages left in the book and I am not emotionally ready or prepared at all for it to end. I have a bad feeling Tamlin will be making a reappearance by the end of this book and things are really starting to heat up between Feyre and Ryson, I have to say. Literally, she's, she's making him soup. Guys, I just read chapter 55 and now I'm blushing. Fuck Tamlin, honestly. Ah! I'm sorry, book. I didn't mean to hurt you. But seriously, F that guy. Oh, So annoying! Oh my, he's a freaking idiot, Tamlin! You thought the way to get Feyre back was by taking down the wall that protects her sisters and the people that she used to live with for 19 years. Okay, Tamlin, you boyfriend of the year right here, mister. He's psychopathic, oh my gosh. Yes, Reese, oh, punch Tamlin in the face. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill Tamlin. Ew. Oh, Nestia is gonna freaking kill the king. I hope all these queens die violent deaths, like boil to death in that cauldron. Oh, she is playing Tamlin like a fiddle. Yes! Go more. What are you gonna do to that priestess whose name I can't pronounce Tamlin? Like, what power are you gonna possess? Oh my goodness! It is finished. Oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my god, I just need to pass out for about five hours now and just absorb everything. <sighs>